Sudeep is a wealthy and influential man who has everything one could ask for. All the cops in the area work for him, while all the gangsters fear his presence. Sudeep has no problem seducing women either. However, there is one beast that gives him sleepless nights and makes him pee his pants. A fly. Wherever Sudeep goes and whatever he does, the fly is always after him. In one instance, the menacing insect even drives a needle straight into his eyes. Following this, the movie flashes back to a month earlier, where Sudeep is showcasing his impeccable shooting skills at a training center. His every shot is on target, and his performance leaves everyone awestruck. As Sudeep finishes his practice session, his business partner and close friend, Aditya, approaches him with some urgent news about an upcoming business meeting. However, Sudeep seems uninterested and pays no heed to Aditya's words. Instead, he focuses his attention on a woman and starts training her seductively. Following this, we are introduced to Bindu, a beautiful miniature artist who spends most of her time creating jewelry and other items. At present, as she is busy with her work, the power suddenly goes out. This leaves her in complete darkness, so she decides to finish her task using the faint glow of the moonlight. Meanwhile, Bindu's neighbor, Nani, who has an intense crush on her, keeps staring at her through the window. He is at adamant on making her fall in love with him. This time, Nani tries to help Bindu by constructing a makeshift light bulb out of a torchlight and aluminum sheet. The plan works, and she is able to finish her artwork. However, instead of thanking Nani for his efforts, Bindu straightaway closes the window and goes to sleep. The following day, Sudeep throws a lavish party to celebrate his business's third anniversary. Several wealthy people are in attendance, and among them is a client who was previously deemed very hard to please. But to everyone's surprise, Surprise, the client hands Sudeep his file, agreeing to do business with him. This shocks Aditya, as he had always believed the client would never shake hands with them. But little did he know that the client's wife is actually the same lady whom Sudeep had seduced back at the weapons training center. After the party, the business partners head to a pub to celebrate their accomplishments with a drink. As they converse, we learn that Sudeep didn't earn his riches, but they in fact came from his late wife, whom he murdered a few years back. In the next scene, we get to know that Bindu also runs Project 551, a non-profit organization that supports children's education. The NGO is planning to get new books for the children, but is held back because of financial difficulties. Just then, a lady suggests Bindu set up a meeting with Sudeep, since his company is looking to fund an NGO. Taking the advice, Bindu visits Sudeep in his office, where he is instantly smitten by her beauty. Bindu explains about her NGO's activities, but Sudeep is too busy gazing at her. Then, out of nowhere, he hands her a massive check of 1.5 million rupees, which surprises her. The latter is a bit hesitant at first, as she has never received a donation of such stature. But after a bit of contemplating, she takes it and says thank you. Soon, they deliver books and accessories to underprivileged children in their community. Sudeep, who is still awestruck by her beauty, takes this opportunity to ask her out. Bindu can't refuse him after the effort he has shown, so she agrees. She had no problem cold-shouldering that dork with the flashlight, though. Later, at a fancy restaurant, as they are about to order food, Bindu suddenly receives a text from Nani, who compliments her appearance. Knowing that he is somewhere near, she looks around and notices him standing on the opposite side of the restaurant, observing her. This time, however, even Bindu is fascinated by his charm and persistence. As she keeps looking at him, Sudeep becomes envious of Nani. After the meal, as Sudeep is driving Bindu home, she makes him pull over and says that she has to shop for groceries. Slightly hesitant, he lets her go, but follows her secretly. Then, he finds her with Nani and gets dejected at the sight. This is because he has never had a lady turn him down before. Hence, he makes it his mission to separate the two. One night, Bindu works late and is too afraid to return home alone. As a result, she sends Nani a blank text, hoping that he would interpret it as a sign and come to her. He receives the text, and as expected, hurries over. The two then chat all the way home, sharing random stories and jokes. Unfortunately, just as Bindu enters her apartment, a white vehicle arrives at the scene and abducts Nani. They are gangsters sent by Sudeep to take Nani out of Bindu's life. They drag him to a vacant home and beat him up mercilessly. Sudeep also appears and starts punching him. Nani warns that anyone who attempts to hurt Bindu would die by his hands. Sadly, this only infuriates Sudeep. So, he finishes off the innocent man. The next second, Bindu calls Nani to express her feelings for him, but it's too late. 
Their love story has ended before it even began. Starting to wonder what the hell this movie has to do with a fly with needles. After the goons leave though, something strange happens. Nani's body begins glowing blue and the light transfers to a nearby fly's egg. Oh, okay. The next morning, Nani's corpse is found in the middle of the road and the corrupt cops claim that it was an accident. Bindu also arrives at the scene and becomes devastated to see his body being hauled away in an ambulance. After 10 days, the egg that was touched by the unusual light finally hatches and out comes a tiny fly. In a shocking twist, it turns out that this fly is none other than Nani himself, who has come back to seek revenge on his attackers. Initially, Nani has no memory of the past existence and tries to fly away, but fails miserably as his wings are underdeveloped. When he eventually spreads his wings and soars into the air, he is almost drowned by pouring water. Nani then goes about his new existence, astonished by the floating bubbles and children running around. He begins to play with the bubbles as they float, popping them. Nani falls on a half-eaten apple after becoming trapped on a cricket ball. Then, a bird starts pursuing him, forcing him to enter a house to save himself. There, he is accidentally drowned in a cup of water by a person. Nani peeks out and notices it's Sudeep who is holding the glass of water, and in that instant, Nani's memories come flooding back, and he realizes the full extent of his tragic fate. I'm gonna have to piss this guy off. Enraged, he immediately leaps out of the cup and strikes his attacker. However, he comes to his senses when he realizes that his body has changed and he can't physically hurt humans. After being swatted away by Sudeep, he recalls Bindu and hurries over to her home. When he finally sees her after all these weeks, he becomes emotional. Nani tries his best to get noticed by her but fails because of his tiny stature. At the moment, Bindu is chatting with her sister, mentioning how much Nani meant to her. Hearing this, the fly gets even more motivated to gain her attention. Later, when Bindu is at her workplace, Sudeep arrives to see her. He expresses his fake sympathy at Nani's passing and tries getting close to her. But just then, the fly arrives and gets into his ear, chasing him away. Even in his present state, Nani is adamant on protecting the love of his life. In the next scene, Sudeep enters a wooden steam bath and tries to relax, but the fly again enters his ears and disturbs him. As he struggles, he almost ends up getting impaled by a sharp shower handle. When the situation becomes very annoying, Sudeep dashes outside, totally naked, and attempts to kill the fly. He doesn't succeed in doing so, but what he does succeed in is making a mockery of himself in front of his professional colleagues and clients. Later, in his office, Sudeep invites Bindu to accompany him to Delhi for an important business meeting. Hearing this, the fly distracts Sudeep from sleeping soundly at night in order to prevent them from leaving. Several hours pass by, but Sudeep is so disturbed that he cannot even close his eyes. It is only when he wraps his head with the bed sheet that and he falls asleep. But the very next minute, he gets a call from Bindu, informing him that they must board the plane in 30 minutes. They rush to the airport, but Nani follows them too. At first, the fly annoys the traffic officer, causing him to swing his hands in odd ways and cause a traffic block. Sudeep hurriedly changes cars, hoping to get away from the demonic insect, but he is soon attacked in the eyes, leading to a deadly accident. The fly then writes, I will kill you on the <laughs> on the windshield with dust while Sudeep watches helplessly from the backseat of the car. After Sudeep is rescued, he becomes paranoid over the killer fly, so he carries a fly spray with him everywhere he goes. Seeing his actions, others around him start calling him delusional. Just then, Bindu arrives to meet Sudeep. When Nani notices the two together, he immediately flies to attack Sudeep, but is shockingly sprayed by Bindu. He lands on a shrub after falling out of the window. Just when it appears as if the fly is going to die, the water sprinkler starts, washing away the poison from his body and thus saving his life. After the terrifying incident with the fly, Sudeep seeks the advice of an entomologist to understand whether flies are capable of seeking revenge. However, the expert dismisses his concerns as mere hallucinations, advising him to calm down. However, Sudeep remains unconvinced and travels to the dumping area where his car was towed after the accident. There, he encounters a strange guy who informs him that fire will soon consume his fortune. But, despite the ominous warning, Sudeep continues his search for any clues that could confirm his suspicion. As he sifts through the debris, he finally comes across a shattered piece of glass with the word kill crudely scrawled on it. With this, Sudeep's worst fears are confirmed, and he is now certain that the fly is trying to kill him. The next day, Nani notices Bindu sobbing, remembering his death. Sensing the opportunity, he writes a message with her teardrops on the table. When Bindu finally reads it, 
she is completely taken aback. She cradles the fly in her palm and inquires whether he is Nani. The latter confirms his rebirth with a nod of his head. Yes, that's me. Nani then reveals everything about his death and also informs Bindu that Sudeep did all of this just to get close to her. Hearing this, Bindu is devastated. She then agrees to assist Nani in taking down Sudeep. Help me kill him, please! Using her sculpting skills, Bindu constructs tiny spectacles for the fly to protect him from repellent chemicals. Meanwhile, a paranoid Sudeep instructs his bodyguards to kill the fly, but neither of them succeed. He also quickly discovers that chemicals are ineffective against the fly. Sudeep tries everything from fly poison to fly swatters, but none of them work. Over the course of the next few days, Nani goes on a rampage against Sudeep. He sets fire to his bed, forces him to drink fly poison, and refuses to let him fall asleep. While the small pranks annoy Sudeep a lot, it is not enough to kill him. As a result, Nani plans to load gunpowder into a functional cannon replica and fire it at the appropriate time to kill Sudeep. Bindu spends the next few days filling a small bucket with gunpowder for Nani, which he then pours into the cannon. This is going to get Bindu's going to jail. They continue this procedure until the cannon is entirely filled, but the scheme fails when a guy inserts tissue paper into the muzzle of it. The following day, Sudeep takes extreme measures to safeguard his home from the relentless fly. He installs insect-proof glass, sensors, and other sophisticated gadgets. Because of this, Bindu is forced to go to his residence and let Nani in. Sudeep attempts to touch her improperly, but the fly digs into his flesh with its modified claws, forcing him to run. Get out of here, you little pervert bitch! The next day, Sudeep has a crucial meeting with investors who are ready to invest in his forthcoming business. However, the sleep-deprived Sudeep instead starts blabbering about fly repellent sprays. Nani then sits on one of the investors' heads, causing Sudeep to accidentally strike him. After the mayhem, the investors decide to cancel the deal, forcing Sudeep and his firm into debt. Soon, the income tax officers are notified of all the illicit money that Sudeep had stashed away in his office. He frantically attempts to pull the cash out, so he may send it somewhere else, but his money is burned to ashes by the fly, leaving him nearly bankrupt. Suddenly, Sudeep recalls the man he had met at the dumping site, who had informed him that his fortune would soon be consumed by fire. He goes looking for him and discovers that the guy is a black magic master known as Tantra. The latter reveals that the killer fly is actually Nani, who has been reincarnated to seek revenge for his death. They then carry out a rite and summon two demonic birds to capture Nani. However, Nani manages to outsmart and eliminate the birds without even even breaking a sweat. Suddenly, the glass doors get locked, and the house starts filling up with smoke. Sudeep and the Magic Master are stuck and almost suffocate, but they are saved by Aditya. Later, Sudeep watches the CCTV footage and learns that it was none other than Bindu who let the fly inside the house. Enraged, he captures her and calls out the fly. Having no other options left, Nani reluctantly shows himself. With this, a fight breaks out between the two and Bindu somehow manages to escape. As the fly tries to kill Sudeep with a needle, he cunningly uses a magnet and finally traps him. Sudeep also finds Bindu and takes her hostage again. After this, he cuts off the helpless fly's wings and starts laughing maniacally. Right then, Nani notices that the cannon's muzzle is open, meaning it can fire again. So, with his last strength, the fly coats himself with gunpowder and jumps through the flame of a burning match and into the previously loaded cannon. This results in the cannon firing at Sudeep, which finally kills him. The projectile also hits a nearby oxygen cylinder, and the whole house explodes and engulfs into flames. When Bindu comes out of her hiding, she frantically searches for Nani, but only manages to find one of his wings. Realizing that he is no more, she tearfully places it inside her locket. Days later, as Bindu is driving to work, a random guy starts teasing her. Just then, Nani, who has been reincarnated once again, appears and attacks the guy with a needle, signaling to the world that he is back. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.